for any information I can get on April 15th, 2013. Well, I don't understand. I was just a runner. I mean, if you want to know anything else, just look on the news. I'm not interested in that. I want you to tell me anything you remember you did after the attacks on April 15th. So you want me to tell you everything I did after the marathon? This is the room I last saw her in. Her? What? Oh, a Ashley, uh, yeah, we were, she was my best friend. I lost touch with her after the marathon. Hey, Ash. You got some pizza. Alan, why did this happen? Look, you can't think like that, okay? It was just fate. Now, now maybe we'll be stronger from this. Oh, come on. You need to eat something. I got some pizzas. Well, it is the perfect food. Oh, it's not. They don't have fruit. Yes, it is. Tomatoes are fruit. Tell me why I'm here. That's irrelevant. <laughs> Answer me. Don't raise your voice. Or what? You gonna arrest me, detective? And you know what? I didn't even do anything. I'm beginning to lose my patience. Will you tell me why I'm here and stop giving me these runarounds, detective? And you know, come to think of it, you haven't even shown me one proof of evidence that you are a detective. So how do I... Listen here, if you want to leave so bad, you can. But I assure you, you're not going to be happy once you get out of here. Mm. Now listen to me. Cooperate with me. I assure you, it's for your own good. Fine. We stayed up all night just talking. I love you, do you know that? <laughs> We're gonna get married one day. And start a family, house in the suburbs, the picket fence, the whole nine yards. I wanna grow old with you. I want to die with you next to me. Why did all those people die today instead of me? Why did you have to die? What are you talking about? Right here. You were in front of me when explosions went off. When shrapnel struck you in the ribs. You died in my arms. I never got to tell you that I loved you. I always wished one of us would stop being scared and just say it. No. We could have had a happy ending, but they took you away from me. story. You can't be here. It's not a story, Alan. Ask yourself why you keep telling it to me over and over again. I don't know. This has gone on long enough. What, am I dead or something? <laughs> 26,000 marathon runners were approaching the finish line. I had to make sure you knew you were dead. I had a life, I had a future with her. 
I'm sorry, Alan. You've already crossed over. <clears throat> no, this room, this, this is purgatory. This is where souls come to experience their last moments and get judged for their sins. This, this was all real. If she remembers any of it, she'll think it was just a dream. Better get going. Don't want you to get stuck in purgatory forever. I'll miss you too. Scene nine, take one. All right, go to their faces real quick, Manny. Let's just see. Turn the letter back on real quick. I just want to say focus. Focus on their faces there. She needs to go. Okay. All right, go ahead, call it. Scene nine, C, take one. How do I know? <clears throat> Listen, if you want to go, oh, shit. <laughs> My bad. Go, go, go. Sit down again. Do it Shit again. down. Do it. Shit down. And how do I know you are a detective? Listen here, give me one proof of evidence that you are... Listen, if you want to leave here so bad, I'm sure we can arrange that. But I'm not so sure you're going to be happy with once you leave with shit. Not so sure you're going to... Not so sure. Okay. Use your voice at me. Or what, huh? You going to arrest me, detective? <laughs> Sorry. Get hit me right in the fucking face. <laughs> Don't raise your voice at me. Or what? You gonna arrest me, detective? <laughs> now it's fucking stuck on me. <laughs> Scene five, take one. And action. Did someone order a pizza? Scene nine, A, take two. Oh my god. Action. Keep going, keep going. Okay. So.